Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you the difference between a VLOOKUP and the XLOOKUP functions. So on the left, I've got an example where I'm going to do a basic VLOOKUP. And then on the right, I'll show you the problem with that basic lookup. So first of all, let's have a look what I've called things. If I just click into this area, this cell, this yellow cell is called input code and this table I've named this table as product code. So normal VLOOKUP, you have to have the reference, in this case the code, as the first left-hand column. Otherwise it doesn't work and I'll show you why I'm there. Well, I'll give you an example on this one. So if I just do a normal VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP, open your bracket and then the little help comes up. What's the input value or the lookup value? It's this code, which I've called input code and it puts it in there for you, comma, Where's the table that you want me to look at? Well, I've called it product code, so you can start typing product code and it should come up, or you can just highlight it, depends how big it is. Then it wants to know what column you want to look up. So this first example, I'm in column B, which is column two of this table. So B doesn't equate to two, it's just the second column of this table, comma, two. And then I want an exact match, so you've got true or false, so false is the exact match, now you can either type false or click false, but I like to type zero, which means the same thing, and then you close the bracket and you click the tick, and then the lookup will come back with whatever it is, so ABG is lids. Now if I select something up the top, I've got ABC so we can see it, that's nuts. Now you can either do that again, or you can just pull this across, and then you have to change the column reference and there's different ways of doing this this is probably the slowest way and do it like so so that's column three column four that should be so it gives you the location that needs to be formatted to pounds so every time i change this that information changes there to reflect wherever it is down here so in this case, it's Gaskets Bradford. So that's a straightforward VLOOKUP working OK. Now I've got the, the same table of information, but I've got the code in a different position. It's no longer the left-hand side. So this description is the left-hand side. So this is now going to cause me a problem. So if I go equals VLOOKUP, click on the code. I've called that one input, comma. Now this table is just called products, I've just highlighted, I've called it products, it's great. And I want the second column, so I'm going for the same sort of information. And when I take this, so that formula looks right, but when I take this, it's going to come up with NA, can't do it. it that has to be the left-hand column, and in the past I have actually cut and pasted the code column to be the left-hand column, because that's always been a restriction. Now, XLOOKUP will allow you to do that, um, put, have the code in any order, and you can look left or right. So you basically got a sliding scale. You're not restricted to the left column only. So on this one, I'll do the XLOOKUP on this one, which has got the code in the left column anyhow. But what I'm going to do there is highlight all of that, because this is just going to speed up the whole process anyhow. So I just type at the top there, equals XLOOKUP, open the bracket. So it still wants to look up value, that one. Now it wants the look up array. Once I do a comma, so I do a comma, look up array. So the look up array is this. So I'll just highlight the code, comma, return array. So this is description, but I'm going to highlight the rest of the table so I don't have to do the extra things because I highlighted that to start with. Now, comma, it's if not found, and then another color match. I want an exact match, so zero. So it's letting you put a zero there. Look, and then close the brackets and then click the tick. And everything just gets filled in. I didn't need to go column two, column three, column four. It automatically did it. Now that's better, anyhow, even with the code in the left hand column. But this example, where the code is not in the left hand column, we're still going to get this to work because. It doesn't have to be in the left-hand column for X look up. So X look up. So look up value is still the same. Comma. Look up array is the codes. 
comma and then the return array in this case is just going to be description and then comma comma and then zero close the bracket and that should come back with the description so ABC is nuts so that's just two different ways of doing it obviously if your codes the left hand column the VLOOKUP will work but XLOOKUP is better because it just populates the whole thing you can actually type a VLOOKUP get a VLOOKUP to do that as well with an array array box but you have to still type in the numbers of the columns which is still a bit of a longer process than what that was and this is what you can use if the code you want to look at is not on the left hand column so this is similar to index and match where you've got a, an intersection that you can slide in a sliding scale if you like doesn't matter where the code is so that's just a very very quick look at the difference between a VLOOKUP and how an XLOOKUP is better at this level so hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.